Number five, Noctagon Meteor, 6,700 lumens. Number four, Through Night TN 36, 10,000 lumens. Number three, Astrolux MF01, 12,000 lumens. Number two, Ace Beam X45, 18,000 lumens. Number one, Ace Beam X45, 25,000 lumens. It is a good day to be Flashaholic. If multi-light comparisons like this are something you enjoy, be sure to hit that like button and I'll do more. Noctagon Meteor, an oldie but goodie, still the smallest of our top five best, and the light that sparked the pop can revolution in my opinion. Down the barrel we have 12 Cree XPG LEDs and four Carclo optics. There's also newer options available in this light, producing up to 7,400 lumens. The Through Night TN36 2017, an excellent build quality. Down the barrel, my favorite part, we have our three Cree XHP70 LEDs, surrounded by a chromed aluminum reflector and a brushed aluminum face. Very attractive light to fill our 10,000 lumen slot. The Astrolux MF01. One of the most attractive looking lights I've seen in a while. Excellent color contrast with the black and silver. Also the dark brown shroud around our switch. I love the design on the head. The combination between the flats and the fins is excellent. Down the barrel we have 18 Cree XPG3 LEDs and a solid one piece optic making our 12,000 lumens. This is also available in Nichia 219 LEDs. Ace Beam X45, the largest of our lights. That big beautiful head on the end of this makes it barely qualify as a pop can light, but it's in because I said it's in. Excellent color contrast on this one. I love the size of that head versus the body. Nice finning. On the back we have our lanyard attachment. Down the barrel of our Ace Beam X45, making our 18,000 lumens, we have four XHP 70.2 LEDs, shrouded by an immaculate SMO reflector, a nice crenulated aluminum bezel, Ace Beam X80 inch for inch, the most powerful of all our lights by a landslide. We have 12 Cree XHP 70.2 making our 25,000 lumens. We also have two red, two green, and two blue LEDs. In the center we have a 365 nanometer UV LED. Great knurling, solid body, nice looking build. On the back we have a lanyard ring and also we have the tripod mount if you remove that screw. Here's a profile shot of all of our lights. All of our lights are powered by four 18650 batteries housed in an adapter except for the Noctgon Meteor for which the cells just drop into the body. Looking at the carriers side by side they all seem to be comparable quality, all of them very good. The most significant difference I can see between them is the springs on the X80 are considerably thicker than on the others. Most of the carriers are a 4 series adapter except for the Astrolux MF01 which is a 2 series 2 parallel and the Noctagon Meteor which is 4 parallel. Quick and simple user interface, Noctagon Meteor, a click gives me moonlight, a double click gives me high. A press and hold will give you turbo. Click again for off. TN36, press and hold for Firefly. Clicks for on off. Double click. Double click gives me turbo. Press and hold will give me the infinite ramp. From turbo, if we double click again, We've got strobe. Astrolux MF01. Clicks give me modes. One, one through five all the way to turbo. Press and hold gives me off. Triple click gets me into the blinky stuff. 
first one is strobe, then you click to move on to the next blinky mode. Press and hold again, you're off. Ace Beam X45, we have one click on, one click off. Press and hold from off gives us moonlight. Press and hold from on will cycle through our low, medium, high modes. A double click from any position will give us the 9000 lumen turbo. Another double click will give us the 18,000 lumen turbo. There is a little bit of a trick there is the first two double clicks have to be fast and the second two need to be slower. Okay, Ace Beam X80, we have the one click on, one click off. From on, we have the same press and hold that'll cycle through from red, green, blue, and then our UV. When you find the one you want, just let off, and then that's memorized. To get to the turbos, we do the same thing. Double click, and then the slower double click to get to turbo max. When I tested the lights, I found that they did all pretty well live up to their factory claims. I also found that all of them do have a turbo timer. The blue bar in this graph is what they tested at at 30 seconds run time, and the red bar is what they tested at after the turbo timer had completely settled. The little number floating in space off to the right is the approximate amount of time that the turbo timer was triggered at. Uh, some of that take with a grain of salt because a few of them are temperature triggered and not timer based. Here's our pricing information. Easy enough to see why the Astrolux made this list. There's links in the description for all of these lights if you want to get your own. I wanted to take some shots of all of the lights together, so I grabbed some wood and screws to see if I could make an apparatus to hold all five lights together rather than five tripods. I think this will do nicely. Next I grabbed a couple of fistfuls of 18650s. Now we just need to wait for it to get dark again. Any time. Yep. Okay, it's dark. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.